Okay, so continuing working with plastic, we're going to now look at assembly, but this assumes that you've already had a go at the score and snap techniques, creating a bend like this in plastic, and knowing how to lay out, uh, say, like a design from CAD on plastic and then cut it out into pieces like this. So another little thing I've done since previous tutorials is drilling out a little hole here and again it really doesn't matter if the, the paper you put down on top of it becomes all chewed up because the hole will still be good. However, before you start gluing, one thing to remember is that the plastic usually comes with a little protective layer of plastic like that and so remember to take it off else otherwise you'll glue to it and you'll wonder why the thing falls apart with any amount of force. So let's say we're, we're happy with this, and again, we can do the same, remove the drawing, and then, can be a little bit tricky, you just have to sort of scratch it off the surface with your nails, and again, it comes away. So again, a good technique if you're not happy with any rough finishing is just to go around with a scalpel and clean off some of the burrs, like that. Alternatively, you can finish some of these edges with a ruler again and that'll just neaten it up. So, if we take our, our piece which we've previously made, it means we can align that like so. And what I'd recommend is gluing things in stages. So once you've glued a little bit like that, a really good technique to stop you gluing your fingers to everything is using a little bit of insulation tape because what you'll find is once the glue is actually dry, it won't stick to the tape, a little bit like masking tape when you're working with PVA and wood. So again, I would hold it into place, like so, and just a little bit more on the corner, and then proceed to put a bead of glue all the way around. And then again, you could do exactly the same with this one. Put the glue on. And obviously I'm doing this quite rushed. Take a little bit more time when you're doing it. And so you can see you've got the basic assembly like that. And you can see how it's quite easy to build quick forms that you've designed in CAD. But just bear in mind, obviously, take a bit of consideration on which joint of plastic is coming up to which other piece of plastic because obviously that affects the dimensions that you use. Hope it's helpful.